So hello guys, welcome back to another A Realm Reborn episode. In this episode we're going to be doing the Shantoto event. It's like the kind of Final Fantasy 14, 11 crossover thing. I think it's a pretty short event, I think it only consists of doing like a fate or something. But anyway, we'll get into it. Uh, do you like my new armour? Uh, I got, I just kind of recently got my dark light armour. I'm a little bit kind of torn on it. it Makes me look badass. I mean, check that. But, uh, I see, like, in cutscenes and stuff, it'll pan to, like, a kind of a view of my character, and he just looks like a soulless robot. I can't, like, see his face or nothing. It's kind of scary. Ooh. Anyway, let's do this. So, in order to start the Shantoto event, you have to speak to Chloe Bajiri here, and she's just down from the Etherite Crystal. So, here we go. Chloe Bajiri seeks her adventurer's aid to investigate a promising scoop. Is this the same woman in the lightning event? I think it is. And on a side note, the lightning event is coming back in February in case you didn't have a chance to get it done. But we get a little Shantoto minion. Let's go for it. Sir, a moment of your time, if you please. I am Chloe Bajiri of the Raven, every Gradarian's favourite source. Well, their only source. But that's neither here nor there. For the latest tidings from the Twelve Suite. And you, my adventuring friend, are precisely the man I've been looking for to assist me in investigating a scoop of, quite literally, earth shaking proportions. Mayhap you have observed some alarming atmospheric phenomena of late. Searing flames raining down from the heavens, blizzards burying mighty oaks in snow and ice, cyclones so fierce as to whisk a pack of gobus clear off their feet. Why? Those that have borne witness and returned to tell the tale talk as if another calamity is upon us. Most ominously of all, one witness, a proper half-wit, but I've long since learned not to discount any of my sources, swears to have sighted a towering black demoness at the eye of the storm. He said the bellowing laugh of the she-devil, that's what he called the thing, haunts his dreams ever since. That is a name. Commander Hulier? Commander Hulier? Commander Hulul? We'll call him Commander Hul. In all his stubbornness, insists that this is all merely a Garlean diversion, but I cannot agree. No, my nose for news tells me that something or someone far more sinister is afoot. Something not of this world. Why, I'm so certain of this that I've already begun thinking up suitable headlines. Extra dimensional devastation portends Eorz's ruination. What pre preternatural sorcery wrecking havoc will our realm avert a fate most tragic? Wow, see the words in this game, man. I am not wont to employ rhyme in my articles, but the unprecedented nature of this story stirs in me a flair for the dramatic. I have compiled eyewitness reports from all across Eorzea. Here, I shall jot them down in your journal so you might have an idea of where to begin your search. I implore you, adventurer, find some proof that the disasters are not of otherworldly origin. Present it to Commander Huel for a proper analysis. And return here with a scoop worthy of grace, the Raven's front page. Wow! That's cool, that was the Final Fantasy XI logo! Right, so if to participate in the fate in Biggin Spriggins, Followed by the fake Tower of Power. Right, so what I'll do is I will head to one of these fates and wait for it to pop, and I will see you guys there. Whoa, there it is! Finally! So, we're about to kill a sprigging guy. He's quite big. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I nearly fell asleep waiting for that. <laughs> It took absolutely ages. That was easy enough. Excellent. Now what? He said I had to. Oh! Kaiser! I swear Shantoto was we. <laughs> That's this tune. We're nearly done. There we go. That was even the Final Fantasy XI tune. Oh, that's real good. So back to New Gradenia, Adder's Nest. Excellent. 
that was kind of cool. That was a cool fate. But I swear, Shantoto was like a tiny wee... What were they called in? Lalafell? No, that's what they're called in this. Taru Tarus. I think there were Taru Tarus in 11, I can't really remember. But we'll go back and hand this quest in. Right, so we have to talk to... Hilwa. Oh, this guy, I've spoken to him a few times. An otherworldly force of destruction? Sigh. I can tell you only what I have told the others. Without proof that this is more than just an imperial diversion, I will not risk the lives of my men chasing after shadows. I have a dainty doll. What have we here? To it appear to be some kind of doll, you retrieved this after felling a towering she-devil at the eye of the sorcerer's storm? I have not seen its like before, and yet I am quite confident in saying that this is not of Garleen make. Perhaps I was too hasty to dismiss that reporter's presumptions. You you see now what I mean, like the soulless robot that I am, and my big dark light armour. <laughs> Seven hells! Try she's attacking the town. <laughs> oh, this is mental. Look, soulless robot. God's preserve us. We have an intruder, Commander. You're not kidding, she's quite a big intruder as well. I swear she get bigger. <laughs> oh, there she is there. Caught unawares by my stunning arrival, such heedlessness is ill conducive to your continued survival. Certainly a guest of my repute deserves a more befitting salute. I expect to see more than mouths agape. If my wrath you wish to escape, as a matter of foremost urgency, you might begin by grovelling for mercy. Ah. <laughs> oh. His name, Vorsel Hilwa of the Order of the Twin Adder, does not grovel. And now that I have given you a proper introduction, I dare say you owe us the same courtesy. <laughs> oh, what a funny man. Do you not see your fate rest in the palm of my hands? But I shall overlook your insolence, if only this once. After all, I suppose you can't help being a dunce. <laughs> Stay your hand. I am not enamoured of your visitor's arrogance, yet I would hear her out. Your judgement is quite wise. You may yet stave off an untimely demise. Now heed me well, lest you come to woe. You stand before the illustrious Shantoto. <laughs> like how she rhymes everything. The Federation of Windurst and Vanadil is my demesne. I don't know that word. Where I preside as supreme mistress of all matters arcane. Lofty words, and yet both your name and your home lad are unfamiliar to me. Pray tell, what brings you to Gradania? A full answer would cause you meagre minds to unravel. Let us just say that my powers allow for interdimensional travel. <laughs> Sadly, I had to seal away this most marvellous spell for reasons upon which I'd rather not dwell. <laughs> Anyhow, I recently revisited the incantation for the purpose of making some... Emilierations. 
ameliorations. I don't know what that word is either. You know how the saying goes, the mind of a genius is never at repose. Interdimensional travel, did you say? C command Commander, I cannot begin to comprehend what our visitor is trying to convey. In all honesty, I am not faring much better. To it appear the gist of that, her powers are not to be trifled with. Why, that's the most astute observation you've made all day. I suggest you quit while things are going your way. Anyhow, testing the spell, I found myself by chance in your land and quickly observed that things have gotten out of hand. Beast tribes run amok, imperial plotting, the very core of your Eorzea is rotting. Fortunately, I was at once inspired with a plan to deliver you from the fate in which you are mired. <laughs> it rhymes everything. Raise your realm to the ground, leaving Nari a shred, then erect an empire of my own in its stead. Yes, the only way to save this dimension is to bring about the true Shantoto ascension. My golem was assessing the feasibility of this plan until it came to a grading halt at this adventurer's hand. Fortunately for you, I can forgive and forget. Besides, you've afforded me data that may prove useful yet. In return for your albeit unwitting aid, I'd offer you this creation of mine in trade, but be warned. Why, thank you, Shantoto. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Should you fail to treat her right, I shall set your pants alight. I'm not wearing pants. I'm wearing big steel leggings. Commander, I dare say this vile witch poses a greater threat to our realm than the beast tribes and the Garleans combined. But I've dallied long enough in this dimension. Matters of actual import demand my attention. Fear not, should your realm remain in disarray, the esteemed Shantoto shall return to rescue the day. Goodbye. Meanwhile, worry not about my wayward creation. In its current state, it could be at best overthrow a single nation. Ho 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 ho. Ho 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 ho. I love how she sat on the ground the whole time. Her backside must be soaking. Commander, should we not pursue her? And how do you propose we do that? No, it is clear that this Shantoto is a singular force of destruction, the likes of which we cannot hope to contain. Better that she depart of her own violation, lest that appalling plot of hers come to fruition. Pass. <laughs> He nearly rhymed as well. <laughs> Who, the what, why, the why... What? <laughs> Who, the what, and where, the why now? Someone tell me I haven't been sitting on my arse deaf and dumbfounded as a scoop of a lifetime came and went before my eyes. In any event, you've done a great deed for us in getting to the bottom of this mess, Doom. That is me. It would seem we've not seen the last of Shantoto's crazed creation, but I trust you will see that it brings no further harm to our realm. Right, that's it. Burgeoning Dread. Let me get my minion. I really do like how they put the little image in the corner like that. And the Final Fantasy XI logo, that's well cool, man. So, let's get her wee minion out and see what she's like. There she is. <laughs> so you get a little wee Shantoto minion for doing that. Right, I quite like that event. I think if they're going to do these crossovers, I do like. It's just one wee fate. Simple and easy. I think the lightning one, the way it was split up over four different kind of times. You had like one, part one, part two, part three and part four. I didn't like that. I thought the lightning story was cool, but it was just go do a fate. I think if they're going to do crossovers like that, it should just be a fate like this. The way it was, just one fate or two fates it was, to be precise. 
and just a quick little minion. I think that's the way to go about it. But I think where they need to really improve is seasonal events. Because uh, not only do seasonal events clog up my inventory with hundreds of daft things like horse heads, but I like that a wee minion doesn't take up any inventory space it's, and then it's a cool wee kind of bonus, you could say. But guys, I'll leave this one here. Next up I will do the Dragon Quest X event, I think it's for Dragon Quest Online, which is only released in Japan just now, I think. But uh, I'll go to that now. So guys, you take care and I'll see you in the next video.